Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Bueno of Players Bookkeeping Services and today we're going to go over how to record barter transactions. Now a barter transaction is one in which you sell goods or services to the same person or company. So in other words, your vendor becomes your customer. Now before we begin, I'd like to point out one major fact that most business owners are not familiar with. Now the fair market value of the property or services being bartered is taxable income to both parties. So I'd like you to keep that in mind. All right, for today's example, we will be using a sample copy of Rock Castle Construction. This is more of a product-based company, so this will be a perfect example for us today. Now, in order to begin this process, we need to head into our chart of accounts. Once you're in your chart of accounts, go ahead and right-click and choose New. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up or create a brand new bank account. And this bank account is going to be specifically used for our barter transaction. So if you're going to do anything in regards to bartering, this is the perfect dummy account that you could possibly use. For our account name, we are going to put in bartering. Once you've finished putting in your account name, go ahead and click Save and Close. If you happen to receive this online services pop-up window, go ahead and hit No. And let's exit out. All right, in order to record a barter transaction, what we need to do is we need to enter it as a bill. So let's go over here to our Enter Bills icon. All right, in order to begin recording a barter transaction, we must first put in our vendor's name. For this example, I will be choosing Lacey's Advertising. Now, as I said previously, we will be using a product-based company. So we will be trading our construction blueprints for Lacey's advertising. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the fair market value of the services by the vendor for $500 and what I'd like you to do is to put in the correct expense account in this case it is advertising and promotion. Once you've finished entering your bill go ahead and click save and close. Alright the next step for us is now to create an invoice for that vendor. However I like to point out that QuickBooks can't distinguish the same name twice so we may need to put in a different name. So in this case, Lacey Miller. Great. And for our item, we will be using our blueprints. And of course, use the same market value that we used earlier, which was in the amount of $500. Once you're done creating your invoice, go ahead and click Save and Close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to receive that payment for $500. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our customer's name one more time. Lacey Miller, in the amount of $500. Let's go ahead and check this payment. And once you're done, go ahead and click Save and Close. All right, now our next step is to record the deposit. And you'll notice that the moment that you enter, you will receive this pop-up window showing the deposits that are currently pending. What we want to do is we want to find Lacey Miller for $500 and what, what I want you to do is go ahead and click on that deposit and then click OK. Now before we hit save and close, what I'd like you to do is direct this deposit into our bartering account. Once you're done, go ahead and click save and close. Alright, now earlier we had to enter a bill but now we need to pay this bill. Now as you can see we have many bills to choose from that are currently pending, however we need to find Lacey's Advertising. So once you find the vendor that you're looking for, in this case Lacey's Advertising, what I'd like you to do is to go ahead and click on this bill and on the very bottom we need to switch the checking account to our bartering account. Once you've done this, go ahead and pay the selected bill and then hit OK. Okay great, now that we've finished paying our bill and recorded our deposit, let's go ahead and check our bartering account that we made earlier. Now, you'll notice that when you check the bartering account, it has been completely zeroed out. If you go directly into the account, you'll notice the deposit for $500 and then the payment for $500. So this is exactly what you want to see. It's a complete wash. Now, that's a very simple and easy way of recording barter transactions. If you have any more questions in regards to QuickBooks, please feel free to visit us at playersbookkeeping.com. And thank you for watching.